Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today, you get to see it here first. We're making bushcraft bunk beds, so stick around, we have an outstanding show coming up. Let me start off by saying I'm excited. I'm feeling a little bit, ooh, uh, anxious, if you know what I mean. I've waited for a long time for this. It's been on my mind for a long time. Last month, I put out a video titled Easy Overnight Shelter Build with Minimal Gear. And in that video, we made an improvised raised bed using two tripods. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click on the icon at the top of the screen and it will take you there. Check it out, let me know what you think. Ever since that video aired though, people have asked me, what if you have two people? What if you have three or four? What do I do? Do I make three different beds, four different beds? Well, here's my answer. Scale it up to your liking. Add a second bed and you're good to go. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and kick this off with the items that we need to complete the project. First off, you're gonna need four 55 gallon, six mil thickness drum liners. Next, a roll of number 36 bank line, some type of saw, a knife, and a tarp. Now the tarp can be any tarp that you choose, but preferably you want something either 10 by 10 or eight by 10. All right, just like all my shelter videos, we're gonna do this using minimal gear. What do I mean by that? To me, minimal gear is something that's lightweight and that should be in your pack anyways. A roll of number 36 bank line, cordage, no brainer. Two 55 gallon drum liners that are six mil in thickness, also no brainer. They can be used for a hundred different things from waterproofing, water collection, browse beds, but today we're gonna to use them for a top and bottom bunk. Now, let's talk about the tripods themselves. I've done the math on this. Don't worry, in the Marine Corps, I took an MCI called Math from Marines. Also, placing this pencil behind my ear makes it appear or look like I know what I'm doing. The dimensions we want are six poles, okay? Six of them, two and a half to three inch diameter, and they must be no less than seven foot in length. So taking three of our poles, keep in mind that three of these poles make one tripod. I placed a log underneath, that way I have room to work with around here. We're gonna go ahead and kick this off with a timber hitch. So taking my left side and my left pole, I'm gonna go underneath, go around, and then underneath it three to five times. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it tight, locking that timber hitch around that pole. Now from here, I'm gonna to move towards a more traditional tripod lash. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over three times. This tripod's gonna be load bearing for two people. So I wanna go ahead and try to get it right and tight. Now we're gonna come between here three times as well. Those are called fraps. So we're gonna frap this, move over, frap that one, and end right here with a clove hitch. All right, so far so good. Both the tripods are up and we're looking outstanding. Now check this out. On both my tripods, I have a horizontal bar. It's roughly one foot off the ground. I want those poles to be roughly two to two and a half inch diameter and run the length at a minimum of the tripod legs and stick out on each side about six inches. That's gonna be for our bottom bunk. I wanna go ahead and start at the bottom and work my way up. So to tie these, we're gonna go ahead and use a diagonal lash. For our diagonal lash, all we're gonna do, we start off with a timber hitch, and I've done that right here. I'm gonna drop it down and go around twice, cross over, do it two more times. I'm gonna frap in between two to three times. 
I want to accomplish two things with this. One, I want to tie in the tripod legs to stabilize it, keep it from moving. And second, I want something sturdy enough for my bottom bunk. Now we'll go ahead and frap in between. And pull it tight each time. That will lock both these poles in place. One more time. We've got enough for one more. I'm going to drop over with a clove hitch right here. This is almost too easy. Now, let's talk about our beds. I want four trash bags. 55 gallon drum liners that are six mil in thickness. All we're going to do is we're going to cut the ends open. I want four poles in addition to that. I want these poles to be two to two and a half inch diameter and roughly nine feet in length. We're going to take those two poles, slide them through two trash bags. We're going to do that twice for our top bunk and our bottom bunk. So the last step for our bottom bunk, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and secure our bunk to that horizontal using a square lash. Let's go ahead and talk about the top bunk right here. Think about it, it's being held in place by gravity. It can only go down the legs of that tripod so far because the width of that bag is going to stop it. That combined with your body weight should lock it in place. But what I've noticed is if you tend to toss and turn at night, it wants to rock like this. So to prevent that, we can go ahead and lash this pole to our tripod using a diagonal lash. We can go ahead and use a reef knot or square knot or even an arbor knot. Look at that. All we gotta do now is add a ridge pole and a tarp, and it's home for the night.
Oh yeah, smoothing it, baby. All night long. Nice. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh yeah. And guess what? You've seen it here first, Corporal's Corner. Oh yeah. It's be comfy all night. Honestly, don't know which uh, bunk I like better, but check this out. Here's the best part about a shelter like this. There's so much extra room for activities. Outstanding, this is good to go. Nice, check this out, the shelter's complete, but my base camp isn't. There's dead leaves everywhere. If you notice where I'm sitting right now, there's a good gap between my bed and the ground. So raking these leaves up does two things. One, it cleans the base camp, which will allow me to put a long fire out in front of me without any fear of those embers catching these leaves on fire. And number two, taking those leaves, placing them underneath that bed, will eliminate that dead air space. Raking those leaves up is very simple. Just find a branch with a couple limbs that resembles a messed up ghetto rake and you're in business.
that's what I'm talking about. One full step away, I have my fire with that backstop. I can feel that heat actually bouncing off that tarp onto my skin. It's gonna be warm and toasty tonight. Let this fire die down, get a nice hot bit of coals, and I'm gonna break out some chow. Crispy AF. Perfect. That bacon hit the spot. I guess the uh, next plan of attack moving forward would be to turn that into a long fire. Get that heat built up and get the rack. With that fire going like that, it is warm and toasty in here. Honestly, it might be warmer up on top because the heat rises. And I'm actually feeling it come across me right now. And even though I'm cruising solo tonight, um, obviously I'm by myself, I don't have a partner up on top. But this secondary bed of this upper bunk is actually acting as a lid. That heat's coming in here and I can feel it right on my face. So it's good to go. Another advantage of building something like this is if you're by yourself, you now have a shelf to store your gear. Or if I chose to lay up on top, I have a shelf down here. It's turned out well. I'm happy. Very happy. So pretty much tonight, we keep that fire going. Lay here and get comfy. I got my minus 33s on. My helicon pants. Shirt. I'm warm and toasty. 
going to be a nice night, tell you what. With that, I'm going to go ahead and watch this fire, and I'll catch you all in the morning. That was a good night's sleep. Tell you what, love this shelter setup. Right now, let's get these coals consolidated. Break out the breakfast chow. Mm mm, starving. Oh man, that's some flaky on the inside. I'm gonna transfer that egg on there. Some bacon. Tell you what, looking better than McDonald's right there. Dip that in grease.
Tell you what, that's an artery clogging good time right there. Oh man, hmm. See you all in a few minutes. Look at that grease. Oh. Welcome back. Building bushcraft bunk beds was outstanding, and it was fun too. Check this out. That's what it's all about. Take an existing product or idea, whether it be yours or somebody else's, expand on it, improve it, make it better for yourself and everyone else, but have fun in the process. Now, as usual, all the gear in this video, including my clothing, can be found on my Amazon influencer page. I'll toss that link inside the description box. Now, as far as my anorak, it's from weatherwool.com. Go there, contact them, ask for Ralph, tell them I sent you there. Please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.